Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Michael Mantell with another edition of Family Law Matters with Bonnie Rabinovich Mantell, certified family law specialist and founder of the Primus Family Law Group. Bonnie, hi. Good, good afternoon. How are you? Hi, Michael. Good afternoon. How are you? Terrific. Bonnie, last week we talked about, uh, we tried another uh, idea called the rapid fire question. I presented three questions to you that you've not heard before, and we really put you to the test. And by the feedback we've received, obviously it was great. Let's try three more questions to throw at you, okay? All right. All right, here we go. These questions, uh, in all honesty, were sent to me by people who watch these shows and say, hey, ask the, the family law attorney, Bonnie Rabinovich Mantel, this question. So here we go. This is a great question. I've never heard this one before. I can't locate my spouse. Hmm. I want a divorce. How can you help me? There are ways that we can help with that. Um, we do have ways of finding people. You can always use a private investigator. Um, we have asset search. So usually when you can search somebody's assets, you can find where they are, bank records, that kind of thing. But if somebody's truly disappeared MIA out of the country, you have no idea, you're allowed to request a um, posting by publication. What that means is you have to put the divorce papers, notice of it in various newspapers and public documents so that um, the person has noticed that they're being sued for divorce. In one case, we couldn't find somebody, but they were pretty active on Facebook and they were also pretty savvy as to how to not show their location. And the judge allowed us to post it on Facebook because that was the <laughs> only way to give the person notice. Um, it was a few years ago. I don't know if that would be allowed these days, but um, posting by publication is the way to go. Uh, this person sent in a, a related question, and that is, um, what about just simply filing a separation? I don't know where the, my, my spouse is. Can I just file a separation? Yes. If you don't know where your spouse is, you can file a separation, but you still have to serve them with the documents. Anytime you file something that could affect their rights or it's terminating a relationship or a status, you have to serve them. So if you can't find, find them to serve them personally, which is what is required when you're filing a petition for divorce or separation, you're gonna to have to do those other methods I just mentioned. This next question comes from someone who I think was talking about the Navy, I, it doesn't matter. He said, the person wrote, I'm about to be deployed into the, in the military. Will I lose custody of my three children? No. So, All right, let's move on. <laughs> no. Well, no. If you're being deployed before custody orders are made, then obviously the person who is staying behind has 100% of the time. You're deployed. You're getting extra pays for being deployed. Your child support obligation is going to go up during that time period. When you get back, if there are no orders that are made, again, child custody and visitation orders are always made on the best interests of the children. So it will be determined at that time. If you already have custody orders in place, well, again, for the time being, your, the spouse that stays home is going to have 100% of the time with the children. So that will affect support. But when you get home, you get to resume those custody orders right away. You do not get to be punished for serving your country for being away for four months six months or any months because you had no choice maybe this is my my question now so someone is serving our country mm -hmm. four months six months whatever it may be okay they are their child support payment is going to increase because the other spouse at home is taking care of the children a hundred percent of the time like realistically the person who's away can't visit these children right. so whatever even if they had 50 50 which is what child support is based on your timeshare as well as your income if you have zero percent some spouses who remain at home <clears throat> want that increase in child support because they have them now a hundred percent of the time they are providing all the food all the clothes all the necessities at a hundred percent of the time in addition, the deployed person usually gets additional money. They get non-taxable pays 
hazard pays, flight pays, spec duty pays, all these different things that they get because they're away. So their income has increased. Yes, they are risking their lives, and that is something that is emotionally hard to reconcile. <clears throat> and they miss their kids, which is emotionally hard to reconcile. But yeah, child support's gonna go up. By the way, the person who sent this in wrote the following. By no Bonnie is the local expert on military divorces. There you go. Thank you. That's very yeah. nice to hear. Yeah, it was. We, it's all right. Team Primus. It's not just Bonnie. It's team. It's Team Primus. We do it all together. Okay. Let's go to the third question. I love our two pets. It's a dog and a cat. So you know what I'm. I know what this person is asking. So in our divorce, <coughs> can we provide for shared custody? of our pet? Yes, you can agree to a lot of things that maybe the court doesn't have jurisdiction over or the court doesn't view it the same way. The court views pets as property. So however you guys can agree to divide that property and trust me, I, I have three dogs and I would have a dozen more. Um, so I love my, my Furbies, but you can provide for a shared scare, a shared arrangement, sharing arrangement for them. And that is enforceable because it's a contract you're making in civil court. Family court is a civil court. So if you make that contract, it's enforceable. And, um, and there are financial uh, re re relationships that connect with that as well. People will pay more for care of the animal. Well, again, that would have to be something that's agreed upon because the court doesn't have the jurisdiction to say, well, you know, you're going to have to share the expenses for these pets. They don't have that ability unless it's already agreed to and in an agreement. Pet so lovers. Uh, I'm go, sorry, ahead. go ahead. <laughs> I was saying, people, pet lovers, folks who really love their pets, relate to this question. This is an important concern yes. when it comes to a divorce. And that's why you hope that in this situation, when they know what the law is and it's not favorable to this idea, that they would work this out between them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I imagine that it's probably just like with anything else, it's a negotiation. And you as a divorce, as the matrimonial law attorney, the divorce attorney, help resolve that issue. Yes. We try to get people to come to an agreement on what seems reasonable for their circumstances. But they are, you know, our clients are grown ups. We can't make up their minds for them or tell them what to do. We can tell them what could happen if they go to court, and we advise them in that regard. But then we hope to leave it up to them to make their best decisions for themselves and their families. You're a pet lover. You ever ask them to bring the pets into your office? Yeah, we are a multi pet office. Um, you the pets, sure are. Now, the pets are not there all the time, and we usually try to bring them in when we know that clients are coming in. We actually have pet gates so that if clients do come in and are not, you know, not everybody's wants to pets jumping or being around them, uh, we can se segregate them. But sometimes you can't, you don't have somebody to watch your pet. There's construction, you've got things going on. And I would, yeah, I'm a pet person. So yes, the pets do come. Bonnie, terrific. You hit a home run again with each of these questions. And it's <laughs> not, no surprise. Thanks very much. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to another edition of Family Law Matters with certified family law specialist, Bonnie Rabinovich Mantel. And if you want to reach Bonnie and her team at Primus Family Law for a free 30 minute consultation, you can do this. How, Bonnie? 619 574 8000 and www.primusfamilylaw.com. Terrific. Thanks, Bonnie. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Michael. Have a great week.